The Mimic and Dead Silence are both horror-themed games on Roblox, but they have distinct styles, mechanics, and atmospheres. Here's a detailed comparison. Storyline. The game has multiple chapters, each based on Japanese urban legends and folklore. The player follows a narrative that unfolds through eerie settings with puzzles and monsters inspired by mythical beings like the Witch Song. It has a more complex, evolving storyline, spanning different settings and environments which increases the depth of the horror experience. Loosely based on the 2007 horror film Dead Silence, the game revolves around investigating the mysterious death of a ventriloquist named Mary Shaw. It's more linear with the player exploring creepy locations and discovering hidden clues about the ventriloquist's curse. The narrative is simpler and closely follows the mystery of Mary Shaw and her puppets, making it shorter and less involved compared to the mimic. Atmosphere and Scares it excels in creating an unsettling atmosphere through dim lighting, dark forests, abandoned buildings, and eerie sound effects. The scares come from jump scares, psychological tension, and paranormal events. It leans more into supernatural horror with its folklore inspirations, delivering a sense of dread with grotesque creatures and intense chase sequences. The game is slower paced, using the eerie ambience and sound design to build tension. It relies heavily on subtle jump scares, creepy puppets, and unsettling environments like abandoned buildings and sewers. The horror is more grounded in a traditional creepy doll narrative, which can feel less complex but still effective in delivering jumps and chills. Gameplay Mechanics The game emphasizes exploration, puzzle solving, and survival as players must avoid dangerous entities while navigating through haunted environments. There are mazes, hidden clues, and objects to collect. Multiplayer support allows players to experience the horror with friends, which can slightly reduce the tension but also adds cooperative elements like solving puzzles together. Shh. The gameplay is more straightforward, focusing on exploration and a few interactive objects to progress the story. It's a linear horror experience without much complexity in terms of puzzles. While it can be played with others, it feels more suited for a solo horror experience due to the intimate, personal nature of the story. Length and replayability. The game is longer with multiple chapters and different stories within it. Each chapter can take considerable time to complete, and there's a higher level of replayability because of its multiple endings, difficulty modes, and secrets. A much shorter experience, it can typically be completed in a single playthrough. There's little incentive to replay, unless the player wants to revisit the spooky atmosphere or missed some lore in the first run. Graphics and design. The game's graphics are well done for Roblox with detailed environments that enhance the horror vibe. It combines traditional Japanese settings with modern twists, giving it a unique look. Its design is more minimalistic, with a focus on dark, claustrophobic settings like sewers and empty houses. While effective, it doesn't reach the same level of detail or variety as the mimic. Multiplayer. Strong multiplayer support, with up to five players able to team up and face the horror together. This cooperative mode is a big draw for those who want to experience the terror as a group. Although it can be played with friends, the game feels more tailored to a single-player experience due to its narrative focus and shorter duration. Conclusion Better for players who enjoy complex horror experiences with folklore elements, deeper stories, and cooperative gameplay. It's more challenging and varied in its gameplay and environment. Ideal for players looking for a shorter, more focused traditional horror experience. It has a tighter narrative and is perfect for solo play with a focus on atmospheric scares. Each game brings something different to the Roblox horror genre, with the mimic offering depth and mythology while Dead Silence focuses on delivering a concise, eerie experience. Which Roblox horror experience do you prefer? The complex, folklore-driven chills of the mimic, or the eerie atmospheric scares of Dead Silence? Let me know in the comments.